This hospital property, actually they started building it in the 1940s and I believe the last section that has been built was within the last 10 years. So you're looking at a lot of uh, old construction concepts, new construction concepts, so trying to get them all blended together. Everyone complained about the signal. Uh, anywhere in the hospital, especially up on the uh, patient floors, you could not get a phone signal. Well, in the lower parts of the hospital, especially on the first floor medical staff meeting room, there was no service whatsoever at all. The only way that someone could get in touch with you was through paging, and that's a problem because there's only one phone in the medical staff meeting room. We've had multiple issues with radio, and especially in radiology, where the, the walls are either lead lined or they're plaster lined, and that creates kind of a Faraday cage, doesn't let anything through. Um, we've had issues in the, in the ORs with the doctors not being able to page their staff or their staff to page them. If I go see a patient and I have a question or I need to get in touch with Dr. Price, then it is much more effective if I can get through to him immediately. The biggest problem we would have is when he was in the operating room. It was like being in a dungeon because you couldn't get signal there. So I'm seeing patients a lot of times while he's there and so that would be a problem if we couldn't communicate. In this situation here, we've actually installed several other systems for Catholic health initiatives around the country. Uh, this was the location where they had initially been looking for a uh, DAS system and we thought this project was beyond the uh, scope of a signal booster system. And then after their budget needs changed, they came back to us and asked them to design a priority system for them where we were targeting specific areas of the hospital. Uh, so the Wilson being a very scalable product at a uh, very cost-effective price for the customer was an ideal fit. From start to finish of the project, it was you know, a matter of probably within a week of condensed time that we actually got this done. The, the decision process going from either a DAS system or a cellular amplifier system is cost. Cost is a big, big thing. For a DAS system, easily three, four, five dollars a square foot versus this project here, which came in well, well underneath that. Cellular amplifiers work well and you can spot cover your trouble areas. In some cases, one building only had one amplifier. In another location, where it was a tower with seven floors, we ended up with five amplifiers that supported that tower. As soon as they turned it on, boom, it's there. It was, I mean, it was very quick and very functional very quickly. And that's, that's really what you need. You need something that's a low cost, low, low cost of maintenance, and just works. Uh, they notice an impact, you know, almost immediately as soon as we turn it on. Everyone's looking at their phones, they're seeing the bars rise, and they're very happy with the service they're getting. I was pleased with it. I thought it was a step in the right direction for sure because I can get an answer faster um, or if I need to uh, convey something that's urgent, I don't have to wait or go find it. It just makes it so much simpler. You know, day-to-day -day frustrations add up. Um, and it just makes the working environment much more pleasant. I'd say it makes uh, daily living here in the hospital much easier. Our physicians are happier, our staff's happier, we're better connected, and quite honestly I think it, it will lead to better care in our hospital.